Today, I'm going to share with you the number one exercise for your hips. In my opinion, as a physical therapist and strength and conditioning specialist, I spent the last 39 years helping individuals get stronger, and I believe the most important exercise for your hips is the one that strengthens your hip abductors. What are they, you might ask? Well, the gluteus medius is one of the most important hip abductors, it is one of our three gluteus muscles, or more commonly known as our butt muscles. Although the gluteus medius is no more than half the size of its strongest neighbor, the gluteus maximus, it plays a crucial role in every step you take. The main function of our second biggest butt muscle is to allow you to walk upright. Each time you take a step, the gluteus medius muscle of the opposite hip contracts to keep your pelvis from tilting when you lift your foot. As you walk along, the gluteus medius muscle takes turns supporting the entire weight of your upper body. And because of the leverage, the gluteus medius muscles have to alternatively generate a force equal to more than twice your body weight. If you love to walk and you want to ensure that you can do it for years to come, it is essential that you build their strength. So let's get started. When strengthening the hip muscles, or any muscle in the body for that matter, the easiest way to strengthen the muscle is to start with isometrics. So let's get started. When first beginning, it's always wise to have a chair for stability. And you're going to align yourself so that the leg you're working on is just inside the doorframe of the um, same side. Because your gluteus medius muscle needs a little bit of extension or backwards movement of your leg, if you stand on the doorframe line by simply bringing your heel back and into the doorframe and against it, you are going to be in the perfect position. So hand on your pelvis so we know that it stays nice and still and forward pointing. Other hand resting on the chair for stability. And what I want you to do is transfer all your weight on your supporting leg, keeping your knees soft, and simply just gently pressing against the door frame, holding two, three, and release. We're gonna do four more together. Breath in, no movement other than you've transferred all the weight. You're on one foot and this leg is pushing against the door frame and release. Three more. One, two, three, and release. And last two. By all means, if already you're feeling, whoa, it's kind of, you know, really feel it in the supporting leg, then yes, you're right, because both hip muscles are working. When we first begin this, the muscle that is actually holding you up is working just about as hard as the muscle that you're pushing away with. That's excellent, well done. Now we'll make sure that you do both sides, but for the purpose of the video, we're just going to do one side. The next progression involves doing the motion of the muscle through its range of motion. So rather than just starting at the door frame, we're going to start in the middle of the door frame. You can be using your chair for stability if you like, but I'm just going to have my hands on the door frame so it's easier to see. Feet are pointing straight ahead and I shift my weight just as I did earlier onto one foot and the opposite foot is lifting up and doing not just the pressing, but the actual motion of getting there and then the pressing, two, three, and returning. So we'll do that four more times. Breath in and press out. Remember to keep the knee that you're standing on softly bent, just a little bend and release. And every time you release, you bring your feet directly under your hips. Hands to the door frame for a little stability. Lift and press. Two, three, and again, each one of you is unique and different and wonderful in your own ways, but you also have your own weaknesses. And so, if you need a chair for stability in order to allow you to progress, by all means, please use the chair. If you're doing this with a walker, bravo, even better, okay? Breath in, last one. Shift and lift, two, three, and release. Excellent, wiggle out your hips. 
Good. And we're going to chat about the next one. With the next one, we're actually going to switch sides because by now you might already be feeling like, oh my goodness, I haven't reached the exercise that's fatiguing me totally. We don't know yet until you get to 10 repetitions, which is something you're going to be exploring. But in order to keep your muscles feeling good, we're going to make sure we do it on the opposite side. This time we're going to add a little bit of resistance and that resistance is going to be in the way of a one pound ankle weight. All right, as promised, we are back in our door frame. I'm going to be in the middle of the door frame once again, right in line, and we're going to be bringing the leg out and to the side. Now you might be going, that's an ankle weight, but why do you have it mid calf? Well, I'll explain that as we get going. So nice, relaxed breath in, shift your weight and exhale as you reach to the opposite frame that you've been working from Two, three, and release. You see, by moving the weight up to the mid calf region, then what we're doing is we're making that weight actually not feel like a pound. It feels like a pound technically when it's at the ankle because that's the furthest distance I can comfortably get it from my hip. But if I have it higher up, it doesn't feel as heavy. So it's always safer if you have a small weight just to start closer to your knee and then gradually bring it down the leg, tightening it appropriately so it doesn't slide down your leg so that you can, with one weight, gradually progress over time. Excellent. And we have just one more of these to do. Breath in, shift, exhale as you do the ex exercise, keeping a nice soft knee and release. Well done. All right. The next progression involves using a band. In the next step, we're going to use elastic bands as our resistance. Now, every single company makes their own color codes of elastic bands. So it's so very important that you buy a set and you can feel which ones are the lightest ones. And those are the ones you start with. So important. Exactly as you did with the weights, we're going to do the same thing. Hands on the door frame, shifting to one side, and then transferring all the weight, breath in and exhale as you bring the outside of your ankle right to the door frame and release. Now, just as with the weight, you have a gravitational force to work against. The band just offers a different kind of resistance. And it's also much easier with the band to gradually progress the colors. So last two, breath in, exhale. and release. And with time, you can challenge yourself to not hold onto the wall at all. And then you're really having to work the stabilizers a lot and not relying on any stability through an external surface, chair, or anything else. But that's a great goal to work towards. I know that these exercises are just gonna put a boost into your walking, but if you want further ideas on boosting your walking. I have a great walking list for you here and lots of ideas that will keep you walking and empowering through for years to come. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day.